Hello everyone, welcome to Root to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting question. So here we have given find the value without using calculator and we are asked to find the value of 10 to the power 8 plus 11 to the power 4 plus 111 to the power 4 divided by 2 whole to the power 1 by 2. Okay, so before going through the solution, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Okay, so without any delay, let's just start the solution. So we have given 10 to the power 8 plus 11 to the power 4 plus 111 to the power 4 divided by 2 whole to the power 1 by 2. Okay. So we know an exponential law that is a to the power m whole to the power n is equals to a to the power m n. So we can write 10 to the power 8 as 10 to the power 2 whole to the power 4 which is nothing but 10 to the power 8. Okay 4 multiplied with 2 is nothing 8. So by applying this logic we can write 10 square whole to the power 4 plus 11 to the power 4 plus 111 as 100 plus 11 to the power 4 divided by 2 whole to the power 1 by 2. Okay. Now, this is nothing but 10 square is 100 to the power 4 plus 11 to the power 4 plus 100 plus 11 to the power 4 divided by 2 whole to the power 1 by 2 okay now let's just assume x equals to 100 and y equals to 11 so the above equation becomes x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus x plus y to the power 4 divided by 2 whole to the power 1 by 2 now here we have x plus y whole to the power 4 let's just expand this so we'll expand this using the binomial theorem so we have a binomial formula that is x plus y whole to the power n is equals to summation of r equals to 0 to n ncr multiplied with x to the power n minus r multiplied with y to the power r okay so we so by using this formula we can write x plus y whole to the power 4 is equals to 4c0 y to the power sorry and where ncr equals to n factorial divided by r factorial multiplied with n minus r factorial okay so by using this formulas let's just expand x plus y whole to the power 4 so x plus y whole to the power 4 is equals to 4c0 x to the power 4 multiplied with y to the power 0 plus 4c1 x to the power 3 y to the power 1 plus 4c2 x to the power 2 plus y to the power 2 plus 4c3 x to the power 1 y to the power 3 plus 4c4 x to the power 0 multiplied with y to the power 4. So, by using NCR formula, we are getting x plus y to the power 4 equals to x to the power 4 plus 4 x cube y plus 6 x square y square plus 4 x y cube plus y to the power 4. Okay. So, this is the expanded form of x plus y to the power 4. Now, let's just assume this total numerator as n. Okay. So, here we can write n equals to x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus x plus y to the power 4. So, this implies n equals to x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus 4x cube y plus 6x square y square plus 4x y cube okay now this is equals to 2x to the power 4 plus 2y to the power 4 plus 4x cube y plus 4x y cube plus 6x square y square okay 
Now, this is equal to 2x to the power 4 plus 2y to the power 4 plus 4x cube y plus 4x y square. Now, here we can write 6x square y square as 2x square y square plus 4x square y square. Now, in the next step, let's just take 2 common from all the terms. So, we have 2 multiplied with x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus 2x square y square plus x square y square plus 2x cube y plus 2x y square. Okay. Now, we know an algebraic identity of a plus b whole square which is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Okay, let's just apply this algebraic identity here by assuming a as x square and b as y square. So, we can write 2 multiplied with x square plus y square whole square plus x square y square plus let's just take 2xy common from this two term. So, 2 multiplied with xy multiplied with x square plus y square. Okay. Now, again applying the same algebraic identity and assuming a as x square plus y square and b as xy. So, this total term can be written as 2 multiplied with x square plus y square plus xy whole square. Okay. So, we are getting n equals to 2 multiplied with x square plus y square plus xy whole square. Let's just put the simplified value of n in above. So, we have x square plus y square multiplied with 2 plus xy whole square divided by 2 whole to the power 1 by 2. Okay. So, 2 to get cancel out and root over of square. So, this square get eliminated. So, we have only x square plus y square plus xy. Okay. And we have taken x as 100 and y as 11. And here we have 100 multiplied with 11. So, we are getting 10,000 plus 121 plus 1100 which is equals to 11221 is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thank you.